Test, test. Test, test. Can you guys hear me? Just give me one sec to plug the stream, as it were. All right, what's up, Brandon? Or is the A more pronounced? Is it Brandon? Hmm. Hello, Alex. Oh, is it this? Hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed the streams. So today, I was thinking a bit about combat and realized that I want to do some stuff. Um, I'm not going to be going crazy today, but I know I want to move the camera out whilst in combat and right now combat is triggered by either attacking dodging quick firing or um an enemy detects you and i kind of fake that parameter microchip base stance yeah not the soft lock where's the camera ah that's funny All right, camp distance. Let's go ahead and boost it to four. Yeah. Oh. Give me one sec. I think my controller just died. Ha, that one's dead to, or dying. Hmm. USB ports for the win. What are you guys up to today? Is that better? Ah, yes. See how wide that camera is? That's what I'm talking about. Packing, moving back to Indiana. I mean, we love a Hoosier. I was born in Texas, but I guess I would call myself a Hoosier to some extent. Now, why isn't this thing picking up? I guess it kind of needs to detect height, like in terms of anything. So let's go to the grab, neutral grab. And then it's weird. My goodness, my logic feels like a mess sometimes. How are we not? What what label does this have? Oh, ah, does is that really it? Okay, I just gotta label my counters correctly. I can't believe. And then, let me make, should I drop it? Oh, wow, just label the counter. Call me the last of us. 
don't do that. If you dodge, you drop it. As you should. And then I wanted to increase the attack range. Um, because I didn't feel like there was a good sense of, um, targeting. Like whenever I fight the enemy. So I just want to make sure that I'm following correctly. Grab point. All right, what do I detect to fight? Nope. Base stance, I need to detect, I think it's enemy? Enemy, correct. So this tag will now be labeled enemy. Ah, see, look at it, it just, that, that was wonderful. It just works. And then this grab point will now be called attack. A point, I think, yeah. Attack point, and let's see what he follows while we're attacking. If I go into his light attack, for example, let's just check his jab. There should be a follower in here. Attack point, okay, that's what I figured. I just want to make sure we're right. Okay, because I before it felt like I was sliding around. I just wanted to make sure that that was not the case. And then just just for we're gonna put a few of these around just to see what happens. I don't know if I'm ever going to... Watched my brother started to play The Witcher, and I think I got some inspiration for the combat. The camera is much wider. There's some significant mobility, but I think I'm gonna up this speed. What should we up it to? Let's just up it to 13. Oh my goodness. He just something. I wanted to feel a bit more responsive. I know he's sliding a little bit, but I feel like games kind of get away with that. Especially if I look up, you don't. Maybe you do. Will there be a parry mechanic? I have been heavily, heavily considering this. Um, I think this is all like up in the air right now, what I'm about to say, but it'll probably be connected to this, L1. Um. So that might be more of like a, it, it won't be an outright block, but he might enter a state where he'll like swat hits away and it might slowly eat that meter up. Um, but then that'll also be like your kind of like a shift button. So if you hold L1 and then you like hold heavy or light attack, maybe it does like a special like thing with his like deep demon or hell powers. I don't know uh, what to call them, but um, that's like really God of War, like with runic attacks and stuff like that, like how you have to hold block, which is also L1, and then you press your lighter heavy attack. Um, and then I was also just thinking like, if I'm just going to do that, I might as well just make the hell mode, uh, triggered by clicking both the sticks instead of, um, uh, L1, R1, and R2. L1, R1, and R2 is kind of clunky. Uh, my game feature gore, I, I'd say like, um, um, a, a, a modest, a moderately modest amount, um, because I don't need to see, like, 
I mean, it is dreams, and I do want people to play this. Uh, I, I want to say as loyal as I can to the character. So Hellboy's not going to be pulling any entrails out, like casually, at least right now. Um, but I do want the action to convey like there's like some solid chunky hits going on. Like there's no way like people are getting up. And if I I I have been thinking about how to do blood, um, some collaborators of mine. T for teen. Uh, what is dreams rated? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, T for teen. At least T for teen. Like if Hellboy had his own game. <laughs> Gotta work on that dodge. Quick time events, um, I want there to be quick time events. In the demo, there's a quick time event. It's more just like a mash circle event. Um, yeah, but I think stuff, I think stuff like that is cool. Like how, um, I know I, there, I've heard some opinions like, and like a grand spectacle, like a piece and something like, um, the Spider-Man crane scene. For those of you that, that are familiar, it kind of like. Why bother putting the quick time events in there at all? Because you're the action is so intense. But you know, I think it's cool. Eh, what I think what really would make quick time events great is if like if you fail but you get another chance, that's not the exact same chance. Like it's kinda like, okay, you failed, but now like from here on out, they're all gonna be like quicker. So like you gotta pay attention. So, I don't know, something like that. Do we like that frame stutter? I feel like it's sticky. Yeah, see, sometimes it doesn't happen, though. I think I have to move the health modifier. So... Yeah, let's just... Is it... Am I... Ah, see, that's doing the two thing. Hello? Hmm. Um... Combat challenges is something interesting, but... The Arkham Stealth is not something that really befits Hellboy. Um... Like, if I were to do stealth, you probably only get the option to do a takedown and then start a fight. Maybe there are sections where you need to, like, not be detected at all, like, for narrative purposes. But I don't want to, like, lock the player into that. But I'm also a fan of the OG Assassin's Creed. And, like, it's kind of fun, like, trial and error. Like, I failed this time because that guy saw me, so no, now I know to look out for that guy. Um... So probably no stealth challenges. Combat challenges, if I can figure out how to work that in as a gameplay system. And then will environments be destructible? Uh, destructible environments is very satisfying. If I can figure out a way to get it to work and it's friendly, whether it be like barrels that explode, a good old wooden crate with a collectible, uh... I'm sure I could figure something out. I know in the demo, I have destructible rocks that have, like, artifacts in them that you use to solve a puzzle. I'm not going to give away the solve the solution. But there's a little bit of destructibility. And then there's some glass you can break in the demo that has an interactable behind it. Ah, see, now it's doubling. Killing me. Maybe it's the zone. It could be the zone itself. And then, yeah, I know that's triggered. 
per hit. Minus 50. Jesus, his jab, that's a lot. What's the zone? No, no, actually, that's a decent little zone. Let me just turn that off. Let me solo. Hello, Lord? Where's the... See, I feel like it might be a little too quick. Oh, I had it on solo, duh. All right, let me make sure that that zone is good. Um, there's some earlier video games. I believe Hellboy has two early video games. And I think, I don't know if it was a mod or he was an extra character. I saw like a, um, was it Dante's Inferno or Devil May Cry? Um... I, I don't plan on having an unlockable character. Like Hellboy, Hellboy is the, he's the character in, in this right now. I need the sound. Oh, duh, I need that. How is it not triggering? You guys see that sometimes it is triggering, sometimes it's not. Is it too fast? Do I need to do a little bit more of a... Just, we'll pull the whole thing back. Let's just do it. <laughs> Look at that jab. Look at that form. Yeah, like the pose is there. I just don't get why it's not like... Gotta change that pose. Does your Hellboy kick? I thought about that. Um, the the combos are probably still subject to change. Subject to change. But um, the hoof kick is I I was interested in it, uh, but it kind of just didn't like work into anything that I could figure up. I'm not like a. There we go. That would that feels. Consistent. Oh, a drop kick. That is interesting. Should that be the sprinting light attack? It might just have to be, Alex. You might have just did something. Because I really wanted the um, the sprinting heavy attack to be something where he like he just launch, he tries to get himself some airtime with the fist, where he, like he just like lets it swing and maybe he just like goes up and down with it. Um, but a drop kick, man, that'd be fun. I felt like there was a better way to do a frame stutter. 
instead of all of these gadgets it would just be yeah I think I might just make it one thing here let me just copy this so let me read that comment the knee into the gut see I so right now what I'm envisioning is just like in terms of teaching the player how to play the game uh, light attack both hits right heavy attack strictly the heavy hand um, and if you hold the heavy attack ground pound and if you hold the light attack um, it's like a launcher so when you're grabbing an enemy if you hold the right attack it will be a um if you hold the heavy attack excuse me it's still a ground pound if you hold the light attack i want it to be a throw not like fully aimable but just probably just like um you can aim the rotation of the throw but a knee right now i have him able to punch but it would be cool maybe if you tap r2 he could knee the enemy like put both hands on the shoulders and knee them because right now he just does that and it's kind of broken um but i'm not opposed to that i like that idea And then I learned a little bit about painting techniques and I might um, have some like animated effects or I guess cartoony comic booky effects because right now when you shoot the gun like you guys see that muzzle flash and they're like there's some black lines and it's kind of stop motiony I really like little bits of that so I think might have some effects when Hellboy swing in that big hand He needs to get there faster when you're doing the heavy attack, too. And then I want to see if I can... See, look, I don't need the same amount. I could just send this same pulse into here. just need to make sure the keyframes also alternate boop, 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 boop. zero oh I'm doing something wrong <laughs> how would grab mechanics in terms of other enemies around you interrupting the action um so it's kind of based on this soft locked like logic that I have worked up. So right now the closest enemy in front of you is the one prioritized for hits. And um, but if you start to move the stick, I think for three frames, uh, you can walk away freely, but you'll still be rotating to the next uh, enemy, but you actually you'll get rid of rotation. You just face camera direction when you start inputting a left stick so that you can like freely look around if you want. So that way, like, I could be walking away, but if I really want to get away, I think I would just dodge and then hopefully you, it would be clearly communicated which one you're going to focus on because the grab logic also detects which enemy is highlighted. Um, but if I were to like be punching and then press grab, you actually can't grab in the middle of a punch, so it'd have to be su succeeding actions or subsequent inputs. I was thinking about a way to do a light grab versus a heavy grab. Um, maybe if you do press circle while light attacking or circle while heavy attacking, it 
determines which hand you grab with, and in turn, which hand you punch with. Um, but that's going to be a lot. Ah, see, I think there's, I need to dampen the Y counterattacks like Batman. Um, no, not that. I don't want it to be that easy. Like, if you parry, you'll just get the attack off of you. Um, not like a full, like, nice setup. What? It's already dampened Y. What is going on? Hmm. It might have just been because the positions are up. Alright, I think I missed a hit attack. Alright, first one, done. Second one, done. Third one. Ah, need that pulse into here. This is the frame stutter, by the way. Look at that, cleaning up the logic. Now I don't need all those little things, I just have one wire. So let's check. Oh. Hello? Last one? Oh yeah, if you take any damage while grabbing, um, it stops the grab, I think. I think I have a test one for here. So this little sphere hits me. Uh, so. Let me grab this. It stops the grab. Oh, and and I died. Yes, um, I don't know why this happens. This only happens in this level. This does not happen in the regular level. In the demo... Here, hang on. Let me make sure that that last thing is, then I'll go to the enemy thing really quickly. Where's the, what happened here, huh? Yeah, I need a little bit more. We're gonna push that back, then push this back. There we go. I just wanna make sure. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Punchy. Nice and... I think I want like a rock sound effect more for when the right hand's hitting. Alright. Let's save this version. And then, I believe if you grab the frog monster enemy that I have created, it will, um, what's the word? It will, like, hit you back. Let's update this. Update Hellboy. Update the frog monster. Or I guess this is base. The base enemy has the same logic. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. That. That was great. Oh my goodness. Fate, truly, what a fatality. I swear I didn't plan that. <laughs> I think, well, I think this guy, will this guy be good? All right. Yeah. Oh, same thing here. My guy, what are we doing? Ah, 
How did he hit me? Okay, yeah. Clearly, clearly that was not what I wanted. Um. My goodness, that was rough. But you guys saw it here first. That's gonna make it into the next video, for sure. The next devlog. That was that was too good. I kind of want there to be like I want the movements to be quicker, more exaggerated, like in that heavy attack. I feel like the anticipation is good, but he since he moves so slow, I feel like he's got himself like some fast movement. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you guys know. I go this way. Um, wait, what is this? Is this a recovery? Oh, yeah, it is. I feel like I could just, just a little bit. Test hello. How can I make this bigger? There we go. I need it for a full frame for it to count. Now it's gonna be over here. I kind of just want to see what happens. If I go even crazier with it. Yeah. Hmm. Faster. I'm sure Emmons gonna want to redo these. Was that was that too early? I feel like I feel like that was a little too early. Yeah, that felt that delay felt a little better. Like you would gives you time to see what to... is it is it even later oh interesting hmm I feel like it's in between those two Get off of me moves. Um, I, I know he has a dodge. And I feel like if he gets into a, a stun or like if an enemy grabs him, it might it, it'll either be spam circle or spam square. Just so that the player like maintains. But even the dodge button, I think I I think I'm gonna try to see about changing it to X. The only thing is that that kinda interrupts these environmental movements. Because I still want these to be available even in combat. And I know God of War gets around it by having your interaction button be the same for environmental interactions. And I'm, I could do that. Uh, because the environmental interactions are much more contextual. You have to be, like, right up onto a wall. And I probably just won't put interactables right, like, where there could be um, environmental interactions. But I did like X. Like X felt smoother, it felt better. But dodging with X feels better. Like that's what it is for both Batman and Arkham. But Arkham has the interaction, the primary interaction button X on PlayStation be the same as your dodge button. But they switch it by, it's a double tap to dodge. And it, um, Batman, whenever you dodge, he always does a full flip somehow, whether it be a cartwheel, sideways roll, or just like completely vaulting over an enemy. Um, so it makes sense to have it be a double tap because it's a much bigger movement. God of War, for it to feel responsive, um, it's like a, a single tap is a, um, a sidestep and a double tap is a full roll. And that 
That is the only thing that button does, is dodging and evading. So, I'm gonna have to, like, demo some stuff. Hello, Crunch. Glad you could make it. Hmm, I bet I could add one to the, um... Can enemies grab you? If so, uh... I guess it depends on the enemy. Like that frog monster, I want it to be able to do a grapple with its tongue, like around Hellboy's big hand. Uh, like it'll be a ranged attack that you have to dodge. And if you don't dodge it in time, it'll like do like a little quick time event where you have to like spam circle or something. Um, maybe if you upgrade yourself, you could like turn it into a, rever a reversal. Um, and turn it into a grab, like if you pull the enemy. But I figure it'll just like wrap around his right hand and he'll either have to like squeeze the tongue uh, to injure the enemy or he'll just have to like swat his hand to like try to loosen himself from the grip. But if you're fighting something like a, a werewolf or... Werewolf makes sense to grab Hellboy, but a vampire... I don't know if a vampire would like get into like a stranglehold with Hellboy. Um... Probably some type of pin. Like, it'll probably be, like, more set PC. Um, but if you guys have ideas, again, again feel free to share. Um, I'm not opposed to hearing anybody's ideas. I, I will always, like, want to hear what you guys are thinking. Yeah. What other defensive options are there? I I mean, you do have this... That quick fire. Like, that's kind of like if an enemy gets too close or something. And I know... I think I might let you um, do it... Even if you're, um, like, out of ammo. Or maybe it'll prompt you to reload if you can somehow. It could be... Uh, I do want to extend his dodge, because right now the single tap is just a sidestep. I would like to do a, com a combat roll, and I would like an upgrade for the combat roll to automatically reload your gun, uh, if it's equipped. Handheld gaming, do you mean like, um... Like when you pull up on a like a rope or something, and like the momentum is tra like travels, so Hellboy could like whip it, like flick his arm up, and the it would travel, flick the frog up, and then pull it down. Like if you like if he yanks the tongue down, again, again this stuff sounds interesting. I like that idea. Gotta work on this dodge though. Like sometimes the frames look good, sometimes the frames look weird. Like he, oh yeah, like he's being so shaky right now. I think I need to lock in when you dodge, like who you primary target just so that you're not deciding in the middle of the dodge in case you get into an area where you're in between two. Because for a frame, if they end up the same, like, Elba could get confused. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to work on L1 as like a block. A pizza, a pizza dough I'm making. I work at Papa John's Crunch. I, 
I live and breathe pizza dough. Um, well, frog monster is like my main one. Uh, after playing God of War, I realized there's some room for variation in frog monsters, but I'll probably make like one frog monster that is like, yes, pizza time. Oh, Chicago style. Good luck. Uh, I'll probably make one frog monster that's like fully kitted out that has like range attacks. Um, it'll might have a guard. Uh, it might be evasive and then I'll probably just like strip it down and make those like more singularly focused enemy types so like Maybe different colors or different like physical features denote what kind of enemy it is whether it's like one that will constantly try to get away from you So it can do ranged attacks um, Or even So that like the ones that are like fully stacked that have like multiple abilities are like more they feel like more elite enemies and they'll just like be cycling between these uh like a larger variety of attacks and i have said those there will be boss battles um but those will probably be like Ogdruhem, heavily scripted uh, i don't know if i'm gonna have anything like the god of war troll i would like to um maybe probably giants but Hellboy's not going to be encountering giants like every other corner. I do want something like bats. Uh, I do want like flying and uh, little flying enemies. I thought that, that would be really fun. Uh, ogre's not bad. Nature, tree beast, stone beast. Uh, as far as elemental beasts, I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to do some research into the kinds of enemies Hellboy encounters. I just... Um, vampire hunts are really fun. Like, the tension of, like, being on the trail of something and something eluding you. Having, like, little run-ins before you actually get to the fight. That's really fun. And I don't know if I could do something like that with, like, an ogre or, like, a stone beast. Because they're kind of, like... It's, like, all or nothing with a fight with them. Uh, implementing parry systems like timing Hellboy attacks with an enemy causes stagger knockback. I do need to come up with a list of um, enemy reactions as well as Hellboy reactions because he only has the one damage intake right now or like reaction where he just kind of like uh, staggers back. Um, I want enemies to be able to be launched and air comboed. Hellboy's not going to jump in the air but like your hits will go to the air and you can quick fire like towards the air. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm holding something. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's true, Crunch. Uh, parry system, like I said, L1. Yeah, Hellboy's kind of like... I'm trying to think. It's almost like a Criminal Minds type deal. Where there's like, yes, he fights a lot of these bad things, but like, they're not always the same. Like how they're similar because they're monsters. Like in Hellboy fights monsters, like you can put that under the broad term. But as far as like exactly how he approaches it, there's a little procedure. But like every time the confrontation is different. Man, I would love a procedural Hellboy show. A BPRD, like Law and Order. Kung Kung. How about goes to fight something? Ooh, hellhounds, like as a concept would be interesting. Um, sorry, I'm just reading comments. You guys are very talkative today. Not a bad way. Mention bats how we can like grab, squash them, swat them away. I would like Hellboy to quick fire. If I can figure out the logic and it's not um like obstructing the player's way or annoying uh like as far as like a companion NPC I would like that. 
if it makes sense with the story and, and the gameplay, I would love for Abe to be able to tag along. I do want uh, them at least at the BPRD, but yeah, I definitely think it would be cool to have Abe and Hellboy on a mission together and maybe uh, like you have to protect him or something. I don't know. I just don't want his logic to take up too much space. Ideally, he's not like too intensive. But Nazis, I guess, are just... Ah, yes, I do need Hellboy to fight some humans. Um, there will be plenty of humans for him to fight. I think that's where I will... I could run into some problems with like gore. I don't want, I can't be, I don't want to be too violent in the depiction of humans because I feel like that'll be easily uh, understandable as far as like how much damage is being done. But if it's like a frog monster or a werewolf or ogre or something, like people would be like, oh, it's, it's a monster. Like he, he's, he doesn't feel that. Um, but like that being said, like, Humans, if, if humans get punched with that right hand, they gotta go flying or something. Or they gotta be, like, juiced up somehow in order to be, like, still standing. I think I'm gonna hit up a Dreams friend to help me with held attacks. Kanye West boss battle. What an idea. My... That's the only way. I'll have to. It is, um, is it on Dreams, this other creation you're talking about, Crunch? Yeah, aiming should break you out of combat. Okay, I will check it out when I can. I think I'm going to end the stream here. Uh... This has been very fun answering your guys' questions. I really like the engagement. Uh, please feel free to comment on this stream or like any post that I've made. Random enemies with his devil horns like a charge attack. That may be a charge, that may be an attack when you're in this. Maybe if you sprint and you press R1, you'll like, you'll do something. The thing you said, Crunch, was called... Okay, Dead Zone. I'll check out Dead Zone. Uh, handheld Gaming, you got so many great ideas. You could feel free to comment uh, after the stream on whatever. Please. Uh, I, I like your ideas. I like hearing them. Uh, Hunter, I'm, I'm sorry that God of War 2018 and Ragnarok seem to have disappointed. I enjoyed them. Um, but I respect your opinion. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Gone Robot. I don't know if you just got here or if you've been watching, but I guess this is becoming the goodbye animation. Um, till next time, guys.